Are you for or against Vladimir Putin and Russia doing whatever the hell it wants? Well, listen, you know, I think we will love him for such a long time, and that's why it is we need to be seriously. There are so many lives of people that actually right now get destroyed, and how that people, it costs money, but a lot of lives, and what destabilization create, and really the crimes and brutality it sounds, he's it doing sounds in like Ukraine you're is it sounds, of. It, it sounds like you're against Vladimir Putin doing whatever the hell he wants. The reason well, I was asking is because uh, no, Donald Trump... He's, listen, let, let's just understand... He, yeah, he's not our friend, but let's just be honest. He only understands strengths. He only understands strengths. If we're not strong, he will do that. And, okay, and so it, it, if a Republican, if a Republican presidential part. candidate, if a Republican presidential candidate who may end up being president says, I hope Russia does whatever the hell it wants, how will Putin respond to that? Well, listen, you know, uh, President Trump, he does a lot of campaigning, but he's been a tough negotiator. If you think about him pushing NATO allies to meet 2%, is it good for Putin or it deters Putin more? Do you think pushing Germany not to be dependent on, you know, on natural gas from Russia, is it really good for Russia or actually deters them more? Do you think giving weapons, not blankets like Obama did to Ukraine, do you think it's deterrence? And he's the one who actually told Putin, not under my watch. So I wouldn't worry about what he's campaigning, but what his strong actions deter a lot of aggression and brought a lot okay. of peace during his watch and aggressors didn't move. So just again, you say don't worry about his campaign. You don't take Donald Trump at his word? No, listen, you know, there are a lot of campaigns, but I look at actions, you know, I look at and the words he said to Putin, not under my watch and Putin didn't mm -hmm. move, but under President Biden watch, he did move. And that is the reality. And now we have a serious war. So I'm not looking at politics. And I'm looking, the situation is very serious right now. Okay. We have a very serious war in the Middle East, in Europe. And we have to really get together. And Congress needs to really get stronger to put pressure on the administration.